Welcome to the Dad Got Parks Disney Character Warehouse update for the Vineland location. Starting right off with a bag that I oogled at Epcot, the Peter Pan Dooney and Burke bag. I think they nailed it with this bag. The colors are awesome. This one is the Pixar Dooney bag. It's okay, but I don't know, that Peter Pan one's got me. That The colors on that thing are so vibrant. I do like that they've got uh, lightning on there. ka -chow. And they have these in How all different... How did Captain Hook run his ship? single-handedly waka waka <laughs> okay that even got a chuckle out of me um just the colors are so vibrant and i do love the peter pan movie i am a pixar fan and if you don't cry during the first uh minutes of uh up you have no heart and you're not human that's just my opinion these ears are awesome uh they came out in the haunted mansion a while ago and people were going nuts from the fact that they're in the outlets is a little crazy to me these also, these have a story behind them. They're supposed to be for Madame Leota and the 99 Happy Haunts. She has a band. Madame Leota has a band, apparently. This is a cool picture frame for anybody in your family who identifies with the evil queen, maybe? I don't know. That's a dangerous gift. You're, you better know the person you're giving that to. This, I have issues with. If it was musical, better. But the fact that it's just a snow globe and no music, I feel like $20 is still even high for that. Tuk Tuk. The Raya movie was quite good. I enjoyed it quite a bit. The, the kiddo loved it a lot. Um, I do like this little pill character. And the um, Sisu dragon was done by Aquafina. She was hilarious. Great movie. Check it out if you haven't seen it. This is Boone. He runs a shrimp cart um, in the movie. Yeah, it's, a, it's an interesting, fun little movie. And I dropped Boone. This, I love. The, the kiddo has one of these, and we paid more than $15.99 for it. Well, Pop-Up did. And the fact that a the unicorn that had one minute of time in a movie has their own line of merchandise still cracks me up. All of the Nuimo merchandise was $1.99, which was... I mean, if you have a child who is into them, like I might, it's a pretty good deal. These things are like 13 bucks and they're ridiculously overpriced. It feels like like some of those spirit jerseys can be almost twenty dollars. Like sometimes dad doesn't spend twenty dollars on a shirt for himself. Never mind an outfit for a doll. I don't know. That's just old grumpy dad. But they had a lot of cool things on there, including this one, which just blew my mind. Come on. If you know why dad was so excited about this one and what it's from, or what it reminds Dad of, leave it in the comments, please. They even had some Mandalorian ones, which I thought was pretty cool. This is the way. Come on, dress your Nuimo as this is the way. And then they had this little spinneroo. I don't even know what it, it makes spins and sounds. That was interesting. A bunch of the, the Mary Blair stuff was there. This is a uh, designer, very famous, linked to Alice in Wonderland. And there's this whole Alice in Wonderland line with them. At these prices, why couldn't Alice go through the door? There wasn't mush room. Waka oh, waka. It's like a dad joke and a pun. I love it. This, um, like a tea thing, maybe cupcakes. You put some cupcakes or some cookies on there for 20 bucks. At this prices, this is this is cool stuff. At retail prices, eh, it's a little high, but the designs on them are very cool. Love the colors, love the very painterly look to it. Mm, see, I'm very, very smart painterly. These throw blankets are amazing. We have started collecting quite a few of these in the house now. Um, the family, other than dad, is always complaining they're cold. So having blankets strewn about the house has become necessary. These are cool. $10.99. That's not bad for a good candle. And I guess this is either maybe like you could use it as a teapot or maybe a watering can for flowers. Interesting. Like a little little sugar jar. That's what I would use it for. Sugar jar. That's what it looks like. I'm going to go with sugar jar. I like the gold on the top. I like gold. Pretty cool. 20 bucks for a set of plates that you really can't eat off of. I don't think you can eat off these. These are awesome. I remember freaking out when these came out. Um, $10.99, not that awesome of a price, though. I feel like they could have done a little better than that. 
They only had two of them. They had Animal Kingdom and Hollywood Studios. I would have liked to have seen the Magic Kingdom one. That would have been cool. I do wish they had more of them and they were cheaper. This is the prize that was given out for the Festival of the Holiday Scavenger Hunt. I guess you used to have to spend like $7.99 for the map and a couple maps and whatnot. So, I mean, that's not a bad price, $1.99. I could not find a retail price in these. They were $34.99. I'm guessing probably half off. The Eternals. Honestly, not my favorite Marvel movie. Probably one of the, the ones I would call a stinker. Not very good. Shang-Chi, awesome Marvel movie. Loved it. Excellent action, a little bit of humor, wonderful fighting, way better than the Eternals. This goes with the big cardboard box puppet or playset, and it says that these things were $40. When does Donald Duck wake up? At the quack of dawn. Waka waka. Ugh. I was trying to explain to him that the original price in this thing is ridiculously overpriced. All right, on the phone cases, these Mickey and Minnie ones were $10.99. They're pretty cool. They did only go up to XS Max. I haven't seen any of the 11 or 12 stuff, so they're still rocking a couple generation old phone cases. And then the ones down there were between $4.99. Some of them were $7.99 in this section. So $10.99 to $4.99 on the phone cases right now. Still, unfortunately, none of the big boys or the newer phones have come out. And no Android phones. This is a very cool ornament. Love the slipper there. $7.99. I love these sketchbook ornaments. You guys know dad has an ornament issue. This is Tiana's place. They had a couple of Disney princesses and a couple of uh, other movie type stuff like Quasimodo from The Hunchback. Hunchback's not my favorite Disney movie. It just doesn't, doesn't hit for me. Let me know in the comments if you're a Hunchback fan. Love the genie one. This one's really cool with the the, the tail and the the mic going on. A little clear see throughness. Brave, excellent movie. Loved Brave. Merida, also one of the uh, best meet and greets at the park. She's always super fun. There's Flash. We've shown him before. A little bit of Snow White with her animal friends. And at eight ninety nine, the prices on these ornaments are great. Luxo ball and the lamp, the little Pixar icon logo thing. And this one, Zero sleeping in his little bed. Super cute. You don't get to see Zero looking like a dog dog that often. Little Mater, a little bit of uh, lightning. What does Lightning McQueen say when he crashes? Kachouch. Kachouch. Waka waka. Yeah, yeah. we, we, we get it with the kachouch. Ugh. And then there's this one, Tiki Room. Super cool. These are done by um, special artists. I love the Tiki Room. The Tiki 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 Room. We also have a Darth Vader Sith mug or chalice. It's more of a chalice than a mug. If it was less than $12.99, I would have bought it. Pop sockets. I don't use these because my phones have wireless charging and they don't really work with the wireless charging, but they're super cool and they are useful as phones get more giant and giant. I just wish there would be a way they could make them somehow work with all the magnetic stuff and the, the wireless charging. This one's a vault collection one. These ears were super popular when they came out and I wish they were $7.99. $7.99 makes them good buy. That's my sweet spot for ears. When they try to sell them for $15.99, not a fan. Peter Pan flying for $4.99. He was originally silver. I don't know what that would be. And this might be a controversial opinion, but these are the stony clover stuff. And I I don't know if they look as expensive as they are and if that's important to people. But like if I saw this, I would not immediately think, oh, that's expensive. If I didn't know what stony clover was like a Dooney, you look at it, you go, that's that's nice. This cracked me up like that looks nothing like Mark Hamill. And the head seemed very tiny. Why is the head so tiny? It needs to be at least three times bigger than that. This I'm all about. The Crate Dragon wood model. The Crate Dragons in the series are awesome. And a little wood model of that is cool. These are down to $49.99 
from 178. They were trying to sell these for like almost $200 in the barks. And now they've had to drop them to $50 and they're still sitting on the shelves. People aren't running and grabbing them. Spider-Man mug. This is a good mug. I oogled this mug at Disney Springs and look at that four finger. That is a handle, buddy. $10.99, too much. I have too many mugs. $5.99 might have made some space. This is, I think, also maybe more Stony Clover with the price, I think it is. And it looks like their same design. This just caught my eye. There wasn't a whole lot of new clothes there and I was a little bit rushed, but this caught my eye. I really liked that design. It was very cool with the flowers and everything on there. And then like the little sketch design of this one was pretty neat. 25 bucks is not a bad price. Other than that, there was this dress. So I pantsuit it's more of a pantsuit than a jumper it's a jumper i'm gonna go with jumper this is the pixar one and eh, this awesome cosplay wig for leia was just kind of sitting there i got the price but i couldn't get the retail and then there wasn't very much for new stuff clothing wise it kind of looked like a lot of the same stuff that i've shown in the past and i've seen in the store unfortunately not a whole bunch of new stuff there now it's time for everybody's favorite game show. What did dad buy? Welcome back. It seems like it's been forever. It's been a while since I had a chance to get out to the outlets. Things have been crazy with the kid's birthday and being off of school and all that kind of stuff. So it was a little harder for dad to get out to the outlets, but I did. And I gotta say, pretty good. Good selection of Christmas stuff still there. Good selection of Halloween stuff some new items, all that Mary Blair stuff was new to dad. I know it's been there a while. Some new Doonies, the Peter Pan Dooney. Very excited to see that one there. I think that's one of the nicest Doonies I have seen in a while. So the outlets are pretty good right now. Also, absolutely no weights or anything or even anybody controlling the door anymore. It's 100% normal, at least when I went there. I went late on a Tuesday night. So you can still get some cool stuff, even if you're not rope dropping it and going super early and you just walk in. It's there's no more lines or cues or anything like that. It's pretty much normal. I also popped over to the international location right after I shopped Vineland just to see what they had. There was some new items, but not enough to really make a whole video out of it. So dad just bought the new item stuff that was different than Vineland. I'm in so much trouble. All right, let's just rip the Band-Aid off and, and get this on the road. I know I am banned from ornaments, but this is a Haunted Mansion Doom Buggy Glow in the Dark ornament. It is amazing. It's got the hitchhiking ghosts in there. Oh man, they're so awesome. This was $8.99 instead of $24.99. I know I'm not allowed to buy ornaments, but this is the wife's favorite ride. So I think I'll get a pass on that one. Now, this one was from Vineland and the, I don't know if you can see that, but the moon spins. It is Space Mountain, it says it right there. On the back side, it says Tomorrowland, and it's awesome. Also $8.99 instead of $24.99. I, I had to have it. I just did. As if buying those other two ornaments wasn't enough to get me in trouble. I did buy the Tiki Room ornament. The Tiki 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 Room. The Tiki 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 Room. But it's so cool. It's awesome. It's got the birds on there. It has the carved wood witch doctor totem pole looking things. It's got him doing the drums. It's just awesome. This one is by Corte Al Al Alvaros. It's hard to read that. OK, if you can read that, let me know what that says. I didn't even check to see who can't read that one either. 
But those are the ornaments that dad bought. The doom buggy was the one that was at International. The other two I did get from Vineland. Now, at Vineland, dad bought this. I was eyeing this in the parks, but it was just too much money. But at the outlets, it's not too much money. The Skipper, Jungle Cruise Skipper backpack. $25.99 instead of $40. Magnetic clasps. I just love a magnetic clasp. It's so satisfying. And then when you open it up, the inside has this cool, like brown safari pattern. And it turns into a very large satchel type thing that you can hold stuff in. These are actual pockets. So you have some pockets on the side, two of those. Now there is no specific water bottle socket, but I bet you you could stick a water bottle in one of the side pockets here and be just fine. And it is kind of one of dad's dream jobs to be a Jungle Cruise skipper. Like, I think that would be a fun, a fun thing to do, to be a Jungle Cruise skipper, to tell bad dad jokes all day. And that would be fun. But this was only 25 bucks and I bought it. Now, the last item that I'm gonna show you is something that I've already shown you once before, but dad is pissed. Okay, remember this guy, I bought him for 25 bucks. They're $12.99 now and I'm past my 30 day price exchange window, but $12.99. I still have to do a full unboxing and opening of this guy and play with him and show you how he works. So stay tuned for that video coming up. Since my last Outland Adventure, we hit 6,000 subscribers and I announced the winner for this Hocus Pocus wallet. I left a comment on their comment. I gave their name in the video and they still haven't claimed it yet. So I am giving this video as final warning. If after watching this video in the next 24 hours, you do not contact me winner, I'm gonna pick a new winner because I want somebody to get this and be excited that they got it. You, you gotta contact me if you win. You gotta watch the videos. I wanna thank everybody for watching, being subscribing. I do have a 7,000 subscriber giveaway. Go ahead and check out that video. It'll explain what it is. It's this thing right here. I'll, it's that. I can't remember what I'm giving away for 7,000. That's bad. But it's this thing. I'm giving that away for 7,000. Rules, be a subscriber, comment on videos. When dad leaves a comment on your comment, be sure to see it and know you win and watch my videos so you know when you won. I'll do a whole video announcing it. That's how it works. I also wanna thank each and every one of the members of this channel. I do have memberships. It does help support this channel. It allows you to win things like lounge fly bags, personal shops, extra little bonus gifts. I give away pins and all sorts of stuff once a month. All of the information in the description below will tell you about how to join it. But I wanna thank each and every one of you who is a supporter. Thank you, you helped make me able to do all this and give you guys cool stuff. Yes, may I help you? Hi. Hi. The kiddo is uh, here. She's helping mommy. She's going to water some of her plants this morning. And they did the dishes. Well, thank you so much. Except for the other, except for the big one. Well, thank you. I'm just letting them know that the person who won our giveaway hasn't contacted us yet. What? I know. I gave them their name and everything, and they just, they haven't contacted us to claim their prize yet. So I'm going to have to pick a new winner okay. if the person doesn't get back to me by 24 hours from this video. That's what I'm giving them. You think that's fair? Yeah. I think so too. Okay. Hey, Bye. can you do me a favor? Can you tell them what I don't do? That's the outros. <laughs>